Welcome back, Speak Your Truth fam. This is your girl, Yana Positive, here on another episode of Speak Your Truth. If you're new to the program, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to share with those who need the encouragement, those who need the motivation, and those who need the inspiration. Here at Speak Your Truth, we seek to create an airy space, inspirational, relatable, empowering, and elevating. Now, we have this evening a very special guest. Hear the lion roar. We have with us. Miss Leslie and Lyon. Thanks for coming, Leslie. Leslie and Lyon, she is a graduate, recent graduate of no the Northern Caribbean University, where she pursued a bachelor's in psychology and a minor in music. She enjoys reading, music, poetry, or anything media related. She aspires to change this world one person at a time. Her mantra is, if you think positively, it becomes your reality, or pretty close to it anyway. Thanks for coming, Leslie. We appreciate you gracing our platform. How are you today? Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm good, you know, I'm good. I'm in a really good space right now. And I'm so glad that I have this opportunity to be here with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you have the opportunity to be here with me too. So, <laughs> Let's get to know you a little better. Who is Leslie and Lyons? Oh, that's a great question. Can I answer it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. um, let me tell you, I'm, I'm always just here for the... A lot of people see me smiling all the time, and that's just because, as my mantra says, if you think positively, it becomes your reality. Or mm -hmm. pretty close, anyway. <laughs> because I'm just here for the positivity. I just love, you know, having fun, laughing, mm -hmm. um, inspiring others. Uh, as, as you mentioned before, I enjoy music in terms of playing and listening to music. That gives me great joy. I'm very family oriented. And yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Jovial person, always. Well, Leslie, your name is a household name. I mean, when you hear the word, the, the, the name Leslie and Lyons, it gives you some feel, you know? No, it's a great name. And you're also a great person. She's very talented people. I tell you, she has a lot of gifts and she's very humble. On Sunday, which was her birthday, happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you. She hosted a concert for persons who have been affected by COVID-19. So tell us a little bit about it. How did this inspiration start? All right, so for this year, I wanted to do something different for my birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't sure what that would be immediately. But I knew that I wanted to do something that would be less about me and be more about impacting others. And I spoke to a few of my friends close to me. I was like, you know, I really want to do something this year. I'm not sure what I want to do. But I don't want to just do something that's vague. You know, I want to do something that's really going to change the lives of others. And so I was thinking about it for a while. And then I thought, you know, COVID has been impacting so many people. Um, those who have lost jobs because of COVID or those who are struggling for various reasons because of COVID financially. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, all right, I could do like maybe some care packages or something. But then I was like, uh, I want to do something more than that. Yeah. So I with the idea to do a fundraising for those who have been affected by COVID. And so I had asked on my social media if people knew of anyone who has been impacted negatively and I got some names and I was like all right I'm gonna try to work with these folks and then I was like okay but what am I gonna do on my birthday itself and so I decided to do the concert also because then there's <laughs> the aspect of in like the negative impact of COVID from the standpoint of our mental state you know mm -hmm. some people enjoy concerts they are gonna get songs poetry we had a little painting bit yeah um, so <laughs> i thought that would be a good way to to also help those maybe struggling emotionally mentally right now give them a, a calm a peace um and also be a, a, a light leading towards the fund as well so that's 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 what that was yeah and it was indeed amazing i mean for most persons, like myself, mm -hmm. you want to go to the beach for your birthday and, you know, sip some juice on the sand and enjoy right. yourself. 
but for you it was about helping others on the day that you normally people dedicate towards themselves and that makes it exceptional i tell the people you should go to her instagram tell them instagram so my instagram name is asabe b roaring so that's a s a b e underscore b underscore roaring you should go to her instagram and check out the concert it's there on her page it's the most fun i've had since since uh, as long as I can remember. Glad <laughs> to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. It was, I mean, the talents in the room was mind blowing. It was amazing, and I really, really enjoyed it. I really felt chills. So if it is that you're able to go to her Instagram and help out, definitely do that. Tell us a little bit about how you came about that name. It's a very, very unique name. <laughs> My Instagram name. Right. Actually, <laughs> so initially my Instagram name was Leslie B. Roaring. Leslie, you know, being a part of my mm-hmm. first name. And Roaring because my last name is Lyle. Lyle, right? right? And then while in university, there, there's, um, we always have International Student Week. Mm-hmm. And for that week, I think about two or three years ago, there was an African um, booth. And so I went on, when I went to the booth, they were doing like a name thing where they were telling you what your name would be if you were born in a specific African country. I don't remember the country right now, but I went to the booth and they told me that if I was born there, my name would have been Asabe and I loved it. And so uh, I just changed uh, my name to Asabe. And that's very interesting. I love that. I love that, Asabe. My name is African as well, so I guess it it would still be just I am going in. (laughs) (laughs) Probably, probably. But uh, you have such a passion, such a drive to help, and I really, really admire that. And when we see people going out of their way to, to assist and help other people, it's good to support them and give them all the push they need because it's not an easy task. Tell us, how did this experience relate to anything that you would have experienced during university or during COVID or, or just, just a life experience? Whew. Well, all right, let me tell you. I think, so, you know, I'm a Christian and so many times we, as Christians, we talk about, you know, praying for others. Yeah. I think that's amazing. You know, I believe 100% in prayer. But then sometimes I think we forget about the aspect of actually trying to do something physically to help them. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you that for me, being in university was not easy. <laughs> you know, one of the, the individuals that we're trying to help with this fund is currently in university. And I know that being a student in university is not easy at all, especially That's when it so comes to finances. Mm-hmm. You have to be paying for tuition. You have to figure out rent if you, you know, if you're living away from home. You have to be figuring out groceries, traveling, and then all the little things that add up. And I would have struggled financially in university. Gladly, I must say, I had a decent support with my family. And so even though things got hard, I still had something to fall back on. Others don't have that opportunity. And so I'm in a place now where I'm not rich. (laughs) I I just got into university. I'm, I'm currently unemployed. But I'm seeing that the need is there yeah. with others. And if I have the opportunity to help, uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the opportunity to help. Um, the struggle, especially in COVID, has been very real yeah. for many of us. I mean, again, for me, I have the support of my family. So it may not be as bad as others have it, but I know people who are going through it. And so, in, in relating to, somewhat relating to that struggle, yeah. I just want to see if I can assist with others who have, are in that struggle. Potent. And so many times we say that, you know, university is hard and people think, oh, it's a bit of a cliche because everybody always says that. But you don't know unless you really experience it. It is difficult trying to, to become better moving up to a next level in anything in life Mm -hmm. difficult difficult and there are so many obstacles and now additionally with university and all the things that we had to deal with we now have to deal with COVID-19 right and it's it's hard for so many persons I mean if you don't have the support especially during this time 
then it's 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 really hard for a person. Yeah. And so I applaud your 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 effort, I applaud this initiative, I applaud this journey. So tell us what is it, it has been, been been like. So what has your journey been like? in terms of when, when you started this initiative to where you are at now or where you do, do you see it going? All right, so um, this is an exclusive, I guess. <laughs> um, when I began, I so the goal that we have set, so the fund actually ends on November 30th. The concert was just kind of to boost the, the awareness and, mm-hmm. you know, as I said before, to, to help also with that mental um, struggle that others are going through during COVID. But when I started, the goal for us is to raise 2,500 US dollars, right? And that should be covering the expenses for three people, hopefully for about six months, so they can kind of have time to, to kind of get back on their feet, right? Yeah. When I started, I, I, I was pretty nervous because I'm thinking, I also people don't necessarily know me, and I'm just this random girl <laughs> trying to raise funds. And I'm saying I'm raising funds for these things. How do they really know if they can trust that and send money and give money? And so I was nervous about if anyone would actually even give money, right? But then maybe the first two days, I got a little bit of money and I was like, all right, that's, that's kind of cool, you know? Yeah. I guess people see potential in what I'm doing. And one of my friends actually spoke to me and told me that he thinks I need to do something to kind of boost the, the um, campaign. Yeah. And so I took his advice and I decided it would be best if I could tell the stories of the individuals we're actually trying to impact. And so I've I've been enjoying actually like creating the, the videos. I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen the videos, but I've enjoyed creating the videos for the stories mm-hmm. of the individuals. I've seen some, yeah. Yeah, and even though I'm enjoying that creatively, it's also really important for people to know exactly what they're giving to, exactly yeah. why they're giving. Um, and at one point, maybe a week or two in, I was like, is this really making any sense? I think, I don't remember the figure at the time, but I was like, we're probably not going to get to the goal. Are really going to get to impact these people who really want to? And then maybe a week after that, I'm like, wait, even though I may not get to that goal, I'm getting something and that's better than nothing. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm still going to be able to, to help, even if, if it may not be in the grand way I would have wanted to. Yeah. I'm still getting to help. And um, Sir Brian Cuff reminded me of that. He was one of the performers at the concert on Sunday evening. Very and he reminded me of that. He was like, listen, <laughs> even if you don't get to that goal, you're still making a difference. And that's, it's just, that's for me is enough, to be honest with you. That's enough. I still definitely want to get to the goal. And we even want to surpass it so that we can probably help others as well. But I'm I'm happy with any donation that we get so that we can help others. Um, Along with that, it's it's also been pushing me to think of maybe doing this for a longer term. Um, We've coined it the Get Back Up initiative and I'm thinking that it may become a foundation sometime in the future. (laughs) So we'll see how that goes. That would be so good. I love that you have a passion and a drive to help others. And I just want you to keep that passion, keep that drive. You should have done social work, but that's all right. (laughs) I I have to applaud you as a young person who is extending her hand to help others. And that's what life is all about, you know? Having two hands, one to help yourself and another to help others. And I see that you are lifting up others. And and that's, that's... that's 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 that means the world to a lot of persons because it's very very few you find persons who would go out of their way to do all this so tell us how it is that people can now support this initiative and this cause all right so there it's a it's a go get funding page um let me just get the link for you tell you exactly what the link is and i'm hoping maybe you can it's in the well, description below possible. definitely <laughs> awesome awesome so you can see the link there you can click on that link and you can um you can pay using your visa cards mastercard paypal any of the above um and if you even if you don't have to give share the link send the link to everyone you know so that you can get others pouring into the funds so that you can help those who really need to get back yeah 
definitely. So thanks for coming in today, Leslie. I want to encourage everybody to just support. Support the initiative, support the cause. COVID has hit everybody hard, but there are some persons who just need a little push to stay on their feet. And we really need to help out our young people because, you know, we are the future. It might sound cliche, but it's true. We are the future and without us, there would be no future. And these are people who try to make better for themselves. They could have gone stealing. They could have done so many other illegal things, but they're here, they're seeking your help and just help somebody in need today. So go get the link in the description below. And of course, if you contact me, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a link to, to Leslie's whether Instagram or so, so you can get in contact with her about how to donate even otherwise. All right, guys. So before I told you that Leslie was, she's a woman of many talents. I mean, this girl, this girl can, I don't know what she can do. So today she's going to to give us a little creative piece. I don't know what it is because I know that she has a whole bag of talent in her pocket. <laughs> so she's going to grace us with a, a creative piece before we go. Take it away, Leslie. All right. So I'm going to do a quick poem. I think it's one of the favorites of many. It's called Come Let Me Tell You. It's about Jamaica, you know? Come mm -hmm. Let Me Tell You. Come Let Me Tell You about Jamaica and all we have for offer. My culture are the best, and believe me, we're on a border. Typically, when an individual is born, they learn to walk and talk. But as Jamaicans, we walk and talk. Rhythm runs through our veins, no average heartbeat, symbolic of our culture. This is the birthplace of reggae and dancehall, and moving to the beat is nothing we can control, y'all. So come and tell you about Jamaica, and all we have for offer. My culture are the best, and believe me, I'm not a bother. Why Jamaica sweet? Just look on the fruits where I do it. From the mango to the guinea, banana to the cherry, nesberry, all that we eat. Uh. And cane, that can't be left out. After all, that was slave for all those years ago. So come let me tell you about Jamaica. And all we have for offer. My culture are the best, and believe me, I'm not a bother. Jamaica will teach you to humble, and deal with things even if you grumble. Because we learn from young, so people will lie. Because I saw some of them get by from the one already, when the taxi well steady, to the, the so rich. But I know the show, they're not even rich. So come and me tell you about Jamaica. <laughs> and all we have for offer. My culture are the best, and believe me, we're not a bother. Then the good food are irresistible. I can't saltfish, jerk, anything. But I am dumpling goat, everything. Kofu, manish water, and green soup too. Then the songs and saints, of course, when not for we unfortunately learn by force. Fire them must must steal, him think a cool breeze. Lay down with dog, wake up with fleas. Then the famous, Sami plan, peace a con, dung a gully. Or, carry me a kegal instead, market not a cut you would sell. Well, folks, this is Jamaica. There is much more we have to offer, but my culture are the best. And as you see, Banana Bada. Awesome, awesome. We love Jamaica, Banana Bada. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for coming in again, Leslie. Let's remind the people him. Follow Leslie on Instagram at Asabe underscore B underscore Roaring. Right, check out her video, check out the concert past Sunday. You'll see some amazing talents, as well as click the, the, the link in the description below to support this cause, support somebody who has been affected by COVID-19 and support our youth and our young people, them. All right? Yeah. So thanks for coming in. Remember to share and like and subscribe. Share this with somebody who needs it. And here at Speak Your Truth, the Untold, we create an iris space. Inspirational, relatable, empowering, and elevating. So until next time, see you later. <laughs>